Lev Davidovich Landau, the 22nd of January 1908 to April 1968, was a Soviet physicist who made fundamental contributions to many areas of theoretical physics. His accomplishments include the independent co-discovery of the density matrix method in quantum mechanics alongside John von Neumann, the quantum mechanical theory of diamagnetism, the theory of superfluidity, the theory of second-order phase transitions, the Ginzburg-Landau theory of superconductivity, the theory of Fermi liquid, the explanation of Landau damping in plasma physics, the Landau pole in quantum electrodynamics, the two-component theory of neutrinos, and Landau's equations for S-matrix singularities. He received the 1962 Nobel Prize in Physics for his development of a mathematical theory of superfluidity that accounts for the properties of liquid helium-2 at a temperature below 2.17 K minus 270.98 degrees Celsius. Life Early years Landau was born on the 22nd of January 1908 to Jewish parents in Baku, Azerbaijan, in what was then the Russian Empire. Landau's father was an engineer with the local oil industry and his mother was a doctor. A child prodigy in mathematics, he learned to differentiate at age 12 and to integrate at age 13. Landau graduated in 1920 at age 13 from gymnasium. His parents considered him too young to attend university, so for a year he attended the Baku Economical Technical School. In 1922, at age 14, he matriculated at the Baku State University, studying in two departments simultaneously, the Departments of Physics and Mathematics, and the Department of Chemistry. Subsequently, he ceased studying chemistry, but remained interested in the field throughout his life. Topic. Leningrad and Europe. In 1924, he moved to the main center of Soviet physics at the time, the physics department of Leningrad State University, where he dedicated himself to the study of theoretical physics, graduating in 1927. Landau subsequently enrolled for postgraduate studies at the Leningrad Physico-Technical Institute where he eventually received a doctorate in physical and mathematical sciences in 1934. Landau got his first chance to travel abroad during the period 1929–1931, on a Soviet government—People's Commissariat for Education—traveling fellowship supplemented by a Rockefeller Foundation fellowship. By that time he was fluent in German and French and could communicate in English. He later improved his English and learned Danish. After brief stays in Göttingen and Leipzig, he went to Copenhagen on 8 April 1930 to work at the Niels Bohr's Institute for Theoretical Physics. He stayed there until 3 May of the same year. After the visit, Landau always considered himself a pupil of Niels Bohr and Landau's approach to physics was greatly influenced by Bohr. After his stay in Copenhagen, he visited Cambridge mid where he worked with P.A.M. Dirac, Copenhagen September to November 1930, and Zurich December 1930 to January 1931, where he worked with Wolfgang Pauli. From Zurich Landau went back to Copenhagen for the third time and stayed there from 25 February until 19 March 1931 before returning to Leningrad the same year. National Scientific Center Kharkiv Institute of Physics and Technology, Kharkiv Between 1932 and 1937, Landau headed the Department of Theoretical Physics at the National Scientific Center Kharkiv Institute of Physics and Technology, and he lectured at the University of Kharkiv and the Kharkiv Polytechnical Institute. Apart from his theoretical accomplishments, Landau was the principal founder of a great tradition of theoretical physics in Kharkiv, Ukraine, sometimes referred to as the Landau School. In Kharkiv, he and his friend and former student, Yevgeny Lifshitz, began writing the course of theoretical physics, ten volumes that together span the whole of the subject and are still widely used as graduate-level physics texts. During the Great Purge, Landau was investigated within the UPTI affair in Kharkiv, but he managed to leave for Moscow to take up a new post. Landau developed a famous comprehensive exam called the Theoretical Minimum, which students were expected to pass before admission to the school. 
The exam covered all aspects of theoretical physics, and between 1934 and 1961 only 43 candidates passed, but those who did later became quite notable theoretical physicists. In 1932, Landau computed the Chandrasekhar limit, however, he did not apply it to white dwarf stars. Topic. Institute for Physical Problems, Moscow From 1937 until 1962, Landau was the head of the theoretical division at the Institute for Physical Problems. On the 27th of April 1938, Landau was arrested for comparing Stalinism to Nazism, and he was held in the NKVD's Lubyanka prison until his release on the 29th of April 1939. After the head of the institute, Pyotr Kapitsa, an experimental low-temperature physicist, wrote a letter to Joseph Stalin, personally vouching for Landau's behavior and threatening to quit the institute if. Landau were not released. After his release, Landau discovered how to explain Kapitz's superfluidity using sound waves, or phonons, and a new excitation called a roton. Landau led a team of mathematicians supporting Soviet atomic and hydrogen bomb development. He calculated the dynamics of the first Soviet thermonuclear bomb, including predicting the yield. For this work, Landau received the Stalin Prize in 1949 and 1953, and was awarded the title. Hero of Socialist Labor. In 1954, Landau's students included Lev Pitevsky, Alexei Abrikasov, Yevgeny Lifshitz, Lev Gorkov, Isaac Kalatnikov, Roald Sagdiev, and Isaac Pomeranchik. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Scientific achievements. Landau's accomplishments include the independent co-discovery of the density matrix method in quantum mechanics alongside John von Neumann, the quantum mechanical theory of diamagnetism, the theory of superfluidity, the theory of second-order phase transitions, the Ginzburg-Landau theory of superconductivity, the theory of Fermi liquid, the explanation of Landau damping in plasma physics, the Landau pole in quantum electrodynamics, the two-component theory of neutrinos, and Landau's equations for S-matrix singularities. Landau received the 1962 Nobel Prize in Physics for his development of a mathematical theory of superfluidity that accounts for the properties of liquid helium-2 at a temperature below 2.17 K minus 270.98 degrees Celsius. Topic: Personal life and views. In 1937, Landau married Cora T. Drobonzeva from Kharkiv. Their son Igor was born in 1946. Landau believed in free love rather than monogamy and encouraged his wife and his students to practice free love. However, his wife was not enthusiastic. Landau was an atheist. In 1957, a lengthy report to the CPSU Central Committee by the KGB recorded Landau's views on the 1956 Hungarian uprising, Vladimir Lenin, and what he termed red fascism. Topic. Last years On 7 January 1962, Landau's car collided with an oncoming truck. He was severely injured and spent two months in a coma. Although Landau recovered in many ways, his scientific creativity was destroyed, and he never returned fully to scientific work. His injuries prevented him from accepting the 1962 Nobel Prize for Physics in person. Throughout his whole life Landau was known for his sharp humor, which can be illustrated by the following dialogue with a psychiatrist P, who tried to test for a possible brain damage while Landau L, was recovering from the car crash P. Please draw me a circle L draws a cross P. Hmm, now draw me a cross L draws a circle P. Landau, why don't you do what I ask? L. If I did, you might come to think I've become mentally retarded. In 1965, former students and co workers of Landau founded the Landau Institute for Theoretical Physics, located in the town of Chernogolovka near Moscow, and led for the following three decades by Isaac Markovich Kalatnikov. In June 1965, Lev Landau and Yevsey Liberman published a letter in the New York Times, stating that as Soviet Jews they opposed U.S. intervention on behalf of the student struggle for Soviet Jewry. Death 
Landau died on 1 April 1968, aged 60, from complications of the injuries sustained in the car accident he was involved in six years earlier. He was buried at the Novodevichy Cemetery. Topic. Fields of contribution Topic. Legacy Two celestial objects are named in his honor The minor planet 2142 Landau the lunar crater Landau, the highest prize in theoretical physics awarded by the Russian Academy of Sciences is named in his honor. Landau Gold Medal <laughs> Landau's list Landau kept a list of names of physicists which he ranked on a logarithmic scale of productivity ranging from 0 to 5. The highest ranking, 0, was assigned to Isaac Newton. Albert Einstein was ranked 0.5. A rank of 1 was awarded to the founding fathers of quantum mechanics, Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, Paul Dirac and Erwin Schrödinger, and others. Landau ranked himself as a 2.5 but later promoted himself to a 2. David Merman, writing about Landau, referred to the scale, and ranked himself in the fourth division, in the article, My Life with Landau, Homage of a 4.5 to a 2. Topic. In popular culture The Russian television film My Husband, the Genius unofficial translation of the Russian title Maj Muz Genij released in 2008 tells the biography of Landau played by Daniil Spivakovsky, mostly focusing on his private life. It was generally panned by critics. People who had personally met Landau, including famous Russian scientist Vitaly Ginzburg, said that the film was not only terrible but also false in historical facts. Another film about Landau, Doe, is directed by Ilya Kurzhanovsky with non-professional actor Teodor Kurensis an orchestra conductor as Landau. Doe was a common nickname of Lev Landau. Works <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Course of theoretical physics L. D. Landau, E. M. Lifshitz 1976. Mechanics. Volume 1 3rd ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0-7506-2896-9. L. D. Landau, E. M. Lifshitz 1975. The Classical Theory of Fields. Volume 2 4th ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0-7506-2768-9. L. D. Landau, E. M. Lifshitz 1977. Quantum Mechanics, Non-Relativistic Theory. Volume 3 3rd ed. Pergamon Press. ISBN 978-0-08-020940-1. 2nd ed. 1965 at archive.org. V. B. Berestetsky, E. M. Lifshitz, L. P. Pitevsky Quantum Electrodynamics. Volume 4 2nd ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0-7506-3371-0, CS1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List link. L. D. Landau, E. M. Lifshitz 1980. Statistical Physics, Part 1. Volume 5 3rd ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0-7506-3372-7. L. D. Landau, E. M. Lifshitz 1987. Fluid Mechanics. Volume 6 2nd ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0-08-033933-7. L. D. Landau, E. M. Lifshitz 1986. Theory of Elasticity. Volume 7 3rd ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0-7506-2633-0. L. D. Landau, E. M. Lifshitz, L. P. Pitevsky Electrodynamics of Continuous Media. Volume 8 1st ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0-7506-2634-7. L. P. Pitevsky, E. M. Lifshitz 1980. Statistical Physics, Part 2. Volume 9 First ed. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0-7506-2636-1. L. P. Pitevsky, E. M. Lifshitz 1981. 
Physical Kinetics. Volume 10, First Ed. Pergamon Press. ISBN 978-0-7506-2635-4. Topic. Other. L. D. Landau, A. J. Ockeser, E. M. Lifshitz, 1967. General Physics, Mechanics and Molecular Physics. Pergamon Press. ISBN 978-0-08-009106-8, CS1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List link. L. D. Landau, A. I. Katygorodsky Physics for Everyone. Mir Publishers Moscow. L. D. Landau, Yaw. Smorodinsky Lectures on Nuclear Theory. Dover Publications, a complete list of Landau's works appeared in 1998 in the Russian journal Physics Uspeki. Landau would allow to list himself as a co-author of a journal article on two conditions, one, he brought up the idea of the work, partly or entirely, and two, he performed at least some calculations presented in the article. Consequently he removed his name from numerous publications of his students where his contribution was less significant. Topic. See also Landau Crater. List of Jewish Nobel laureates List of things named after Lev Landau Topic. References Topic. Further reading Bookstorozinski, Alexander The Man They Wouldn't Let Die. Secker and Warburg. ASIN B0006 DC8BA. After Landau's 1962 car accident, the physics community around him rallied to attempt to save his life. They managed to prolong his life until 1968. Yanush, Frantisek. Lev D. Landau, His Life and Work. CERN. ASIN B0007 AUCLO. Kalatnikov, I. M., ed. 1989. Landau. The Physicist and the Man. Recollections of L. D. Landau. Sykes, J. B., Trans. Pergamon Press. ISBN 0-08-036383-0. Kojevnikov, Alexei B. 2004. Stalin's Great Science, The Times and Adventures of Soviet Physicists. History of Modern Physical Sciences. Imperial College Press. ISBN 1-86094-420-5. Landau Drobontseva, Kora 1999. Professor Landau, How We Lived in Russian. Ast. ISBN 5-8159-0019-2. Archived from the original on 4 May 2005. Schiffman, M., ed. 2013. Under the Spell of Landau, When Theoretical Physics Was Shaping Destinies. World Scientific. doi. 10.1142-8641. ISBN 978-981-4436-56-4, Article Skarl Huffbauer. Landau's Youthful Sallies into Stellar Theory, Their Origins, Claims, and Receptions. Historical Studies in the Physical and Biological Sciences, 37, 2007, 337 to 354. As a student, Landau dared to correct Einstein in a lecture. Global Talent News. O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Lev Landau. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. Lev Davidovich Landau. Nobel winners. Landau's Theoretical Minimum, Landau's Seminar, ITEP in the beginning of the 1950s by Boris L. IF, concluding talk at the workshop QCD at the threshold of the fourth decade, IOFest. EJTP Landau Issue 2008. Amar Sakaji and Ignazio Licata, eds. Lev Davidovich Landau and his impact on contemporary theoretical physics. Nova Science Publishers, New York, 2009. ISBN 978-1-60692-908-7. Gennady Gorlick, The Top Secret Life of Lev Landau, Scientific American, August 1997, Volume 277, 2, 53 to 57. JSTOR link. External links 
Media related to Lev Landau at Wikimedia Commons